Beerviews.com. All right, so Shopfly Brewing Company um, has come out with this uh, special release called the uh, Tasmanian IPA. Um, these are brewed uh, from Australian hops, hence the name Tasmanian. Um, it's a galaxy type hop that has a strong aromatic uh, characteristic, um, supposedly different from the traditional Pacific uh, strains. Um, it's supposed to enhance the citrus and the pineapple flavors. They go on this long history about their uh, uh, brewing uh, IPAs back in the 1700s for the long voyage for the uh, British soldiers uh, in India to preserve the beer, which is why I think IPAs are so cool. Personally, it's my favorite uh, variety of beer, um, if you watch some of the other beer reviews. Um, this is, again, one of the special releases with within this brewery. Um, they're based out of St. Louis. Um, we get a fair amount of these beers on the East Coast. Um, this particular one is 7.2% uh, ABV 65 IBUs. Um, and again, it's found under their special release edition. So um, that's really all I know about it. It's got Galaxy and Topaz hops. And the, obviously these hops are the Topaz slash Tasmanian hops. Um, it's uh, American ale uh, yeast and pale grains, as they call it. So um, this is a beer I found a six pack of. I think it was twelve or thirteen dollars for the six pack. Um, so um, again, I know very little about it. I reviewed a bunch of these beers years ago because, for whatever reason, the distribution was much more widely distributed on the east coast where I live and it's almost like it shut down for a couple of years and now they're back so um, check it out so it's very um, hazy is what I would call it it's got kind of a pale yellow color a um, little bit of carbonation very little head on the on the top okay so this is interesting so um, aroma is pretty bland is what I would call this uh, it reminds me of what I call a wet paper towel. It just kind of has this kind of, kind of, kind of barely, barely citrusy aroma, like you just wiped off a countertop with grapefruit on it, and there's dirt. It's kind of very earthy, very grassy. And it's got this weird, I don't even know how to describe it, aroma. It's almost kind of, kind of dirty, kind of, uh, like unfiltered splash yeah um not clean it, it's i don't like the aroma at all but anyway i can't even describe it just very very scent, subtle citrus with this kind of just not clean background to it all right and very hazy so <laughs> here we go let's try this one out flavor is much better than the aroma. It's got a lot of lemon. It's got a lot of kind of citrus puckerness at the beginning. Um, definitely has a lot of what I call like earthy, grainy, piney characteristics. Definitely has a grainy mouthfeel to it. Um, definitely can taste what I would term as galaxy hops. In the middle, it finishes kind of gritty, um, hence the unfiltered uh, appearance and obviously flavor that's weird um, that's a different one it's it's like they're trying to mix like three different beers into one so it's very unfiltered which lends to kind of that kind of strange mouth feel it's it's got a weird kind of lemony kind of wannabe citrus flavor but it doesn't really come out because it's overpowered by the hops that don't really blend together and I can't tell if it's something I would enjoy like to sip on or something I'd throw away or I that's a confusing beer to me I don't know what they're going after if it was either more filtered or there was a little bit more citrus to it um, I think it could be decent but um, I doubt I'll finish that it, it's it's hitting on too many things at once and it's not connecting on anything in my opinion it just has too much confusion 
of what they're trying to go for. It doesn't taste like any kind of a beer that I've ever had um, in terms of its, its characteristics. So I don't think I would try it again. Um, I was kind of disappointed because I love the name. I like that it was limited release, but uh, I'll let them keep it limited release on the shelf for me. So I rate my beers between 1 and